Hello and welcome everybody. I am proud today to give you an idea about how to install a solid state disk on board of your desktop. The SSD we will use today is Kingston 100 GB which exactly meets my needs. It cost me exactly 100 bucks and we are ready to unbox this piece of a treasure out. We have the CD here which contains the software and an installation guide. The software inside is to copy your existing hard drive if you have an existing hard drive. We have a holder here for mounting your your new drive in your desktop you will have to use this piece and also you can use it as a portable backing up device by inserting it into this case and uh, for this you will have to use the USB cable as you know and you will need this SATA cable for installing your device and connecting it to your uh, main board if you hold this uh, uh, SSD between your hands you will feel it's like a large larger size SD memory card it's too light there's no motors inside the screws for mounting it and this converter if you don't have a, a power input SATA power input coming out of your power supply unit This is my unit, it's HP E-Lite i7 core processor unit and for installing the SSD inside we will have to unlock this manual lock here just pull back this cover We already have, as you can see, pre-installed 500 GB uh, HDD motor-driven hard disk drive, which is which is too much slower than our new one. This is the holder. This is our drive. We'll keep this aside for now and also you will need to uncover the front side of your case
because we will use one of the empty trays, the diskette trays, and I think the best one for our case is the floppy disk tray here. And we will have also to break this cover here, this gate, using the screwdriver. No worry here, so easy. That's all for it. Keep it aside. And I think we are ready now to install our holder and the disc on board. You keep pushing it forward and backward until you get these holes. On their correct place, as you can see. Now you just screw to get your holder fixed. I think I lost that screw. Alright. Everything is OK now. Next step is to connect the SSD with the main board using this cable here, the SATA cable. As you can see, we used almost all the ports on the main board this one, this blue one here and the white one next to it for the pre-installed hard drive and, and also the DVD writer is using the third one here but the orange one, the fourth one is empty and really nice to use No matter which one is first, you can connect the main board first or the drive. Okay, it's done here. Next step is to connect the power cable. Here it is. That's all. The last step is to put everything back together. The main cover. We slide it like this way. That's all for today.
I hope you enjoyed my show and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, 7sibali.net bye bye